Finally, the time has come where we have some baby hog noses from this girl right here. Look, do you see what I see? <sighs> All right, it's go time, let's go. Finally, the time has come where we have some baby hog noses from this girl right here. Everybody, I don't know if you formally met Rowan, Bree's very first hog nose. Rowan was placed in Bree's hand as a little baby. Ever since that moment, Bree fell in love with hog noses, and since I've started dating Bree, I've kind of fallen for these guys too. Now she's special to us because she has produced all of our babies thus far. She produced a clutch last year, she's produced a clutch this year, and then she actually double clutched this year as well. Now Rowan, as you can see, is a red line anaconda het albino. Het or heterozygous al for albino means that she is carrying the albino gene, but as you can very clearly see, she does not express the albino gene. She just has it within her DNA. And this is actually Lux. This is the male that has sired all of our clutches so far, uh, including the ones that haven't hatched yet. This is Lux the male, and he has sired all of them. Now Lux is Bree's second hog nose that she ended up purchasing. He is a male albino anaconda, which means you can see here, he's obviously a very different color when compared to Rowan. His eyes are also red, and he's a lot more active <laughs> than his female counterpart. Condas or anacondas are reduced pattern when compared to normals, and when you put them together, because they're a codominant gene, they produce an even less patterned snake, which in this case is actually called a super conda or super anaconda. The cool part about having a male visual albino and a female head albino is that in theory we could produce produce completely yellow, reddy kind of color, baby hog noses with no patterns whatsoever. That would be the production of a super anaconda albino. And a quick interruption from future Mike here. If you guys are in the Toronto area, in the GTA at all, and you haven't heard, there is a Reptile Expo August 22nd happening in Toronto. Well, technically Mississauga, but the Toronto Reptile Expo it's called. Make sure you get tickets. Come check us out. My girlfriend and I, Brie, will be vending as the Jungle Vault. That is our new business together. We'll have fat tails, we'll have chihuahuas, chameleon geckos, and so much more. Check us out, and let's get on with the video. Now before we actually go get to see the babies, because I'm filming this slightly after they've hatched, and some of them have actually taken their first feedings, I did want to say if you guys are interested in your own hognose snake produced here, at the reptile room at the jungle vault, as it will be known. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, as well as send me a message there. Shipping across Canada, if you're in a legal province, is definitely possible. And shipping to the States is also possible, albeit expensive. So just keep that in mind. The base cost for shipping to the States is 250 USD, but that is for an entire box. So you could buy three or four hog noses, a couple Eurodactylodes, Viardi, whatever you want to fill that box, and one shipment across is 250 USD. So that being said, I know that's expensive. That's why I'm also trying to get people that are interested in hog noses or the Eurodactylodes, whatever. Basically just people from the States that are interested because I would actually like to put together a US shipment where I ship it to one of my friends and then he ships it to you. So that 250 USD will be split X many ways and might only end up costing you slightly more expensive than having it shipped from across the United States to you except this would be coming from Canada. Now that you've met Lux, and you've also met Rowan, we can move on to checking out what the incubator has in store for us. Let's go! All right, we're in the storage room. Come on, this is like day 61. Oh, no way. Look, do you see what I see? Oh, snap. Yes, 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 yes. All right, I need to get this lid off. Guys, they're finally hatching. Do you see that? That, I think that's a super anaconda, another albino, and I'm pretty sure this one had its head out. And that's another albino as well. Oh, heck yes. Let's go. 
Now, after spotting those first few babies coming out of the egg, I was extremely excited, but we did have to wait until they had all pipped and came out of the egg until we ended up moving them to their new setups, which you will see very shortly. That actually took an extra three days. And on that third day before we put them in, we decided to give them a little bit of a soak so they could chug some water and also help those that didn't shed yet actually go into shed. So let's check it out. It's their first bath time. Making sure they're all shut out. Staying hydrated. Hydration is key. This one. That one. You. You are trouble. Somebody please take this one. I don't know if I'm doing it anymore. Yeah, Andrew New. The Anaconda. <laughs> or the Superconda. The scary thing. Very grumpy. Snowball. <laughs> Alrighty, and you can see the workstation, the battle station where we keep the baby hog noses. Uh, these are all kind of customized bins, I suppose. Down there with the sand at the bottom is three dwarf species of gecko. I, I guess they're worth showing off because they're pretty darn cute. Hi. These are Lucasium Damium, but that's not what the video is about. The video is about the hog noses. So. In here, I guess I can just kind of pull down a random bin and just show you how we have them set up. Currently, we have them set up in kind of a dual fashion. Uh, a lot of times, hog noses, if they're put in a tub the full size of this, actually get stressed out and don't eat. At least that was our experience last year. Uh, we had some that didn't eat for all the way up until like six months after hatching. They didn't lose a lot of weight, which is nice, but still, it's a little bit concerning. As you guys saw in the clip, and as you can see now, we did hit super condas. We hit both albino and normal super condas, so you guys will see those throughout the video, but here is one right here. I'm not sure if this guy ate or not. Uh, it will be on his data card, but uh, those are obviously not in my hand right now. So beautiful, absolutely stunning snakes. Uh, there are some even nicer ones. Oh, 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 there he is. Hi. And this is an alb oh, an angry, angry. <laughs> This is a very angry little albino that we got. Uh, no conda or anything like that in the gene here. But still an absolutely beautiful snake. Got a little bit of spunk to him, which is always nice. Just a beauty. You guys have seen these two and uh, I guess an example of two of the genes that we hatched. Everything that we have that is a normal is also a head albino because it was bred with a albino. So I'm gonna go through here, pick out a few that I'd like to show you. I don't think you guys need to see all of them. You guys kind of saw a clip of all of them in the tub anyway. Let's do some show and tell. Here is another example of a anaconda. This one is not too happy of a camper, but you can see that this one kind of expresses the gene a little bit differently. I believe this is considered a reverse stripe. You can see that it almost goes all the way entirely down the back. And essentially this is just, we call it a cinnamon bun because it kind of looks like a cinnamon bun. <laughs> <laughs> just with super faded patterns, but it is just an anaconda, uh, obviously head albino, and next to it here, we have a beautiful red line albino superconda. Absolutely stunning. Really happy we produced one this nice. You've seen the parents, and, and <laughs> they obviously look nothing like this because it's a different gene combination, but I mean, come on. This one is actually purchased, so <laughs> if you guys are interested in buying this one, unfortunately this one has already had a deposit put down on it. We do have a few more. I'm not sure. This might be the nicest one we have. Both of them really are quite nice. Uh, you have so much attitude. All right, I have to pick out Pencil. This is one that kind of hatched out with a little bit of, I don't wanna say a neurological issue, but kind of. And Pencil actually ate a bunch. She is a beautiful, just a standard anaconda, but a very, very 
low or I guess high expression anaconda so there's really not much patterning on her at all and when she first came out she hatched a little wonky she was always acting kind of strange but now you can see her here and she's actually doing well so I'm hoping maybe whatever it is she kind of just grows out of but I mean how like come on look at that snake just gorgeous and and i think she's still kind of hungry right now actually super faded pattern like almost to the point of kind of a cinnamon bun but not quite there almost more faded like three quarters expression of the super conda where it's very minimal pattern and then more pattern towards the tail but that is pencil don't ask me why we named her that maddie smith if you're watching this video that's courtesy of you <laughs> i guess i can show you guys just another normal and so this is the combination of a another albino superconda just not quite a red line uh, you can tell she's a little bit more not even muted just definitely different coloration doesn't have that solid red stripe down the back but still a beautiful stunning snake that is just so cute they're so cute and right next to her we have a normal this is just a standard run-of-the-mill normal obviously it's head albino beautiful nonetheless almost a twin spot you can see the lines the spots kind of connecting and then they end up connecting halfway down the back that's almost a twin spot obviously it's not just a beautiful beautiful little normal hognose snake if you're looking for just a normal you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a morph or something like that then there will be some available so just be patient Alrighty, and last but not least an albino anaconda uh, no super form here but still this one actually has particularly beautiful coloring out of most of the albino stuff we have we don't have a lot that is this vibrant orange um, i'm not sure if it's coming across all too well on camera right now all things considered these guys start eating well right off the bat and are ready to go fairly soon just out of curiosity what's on this side oh another kind of spicy looking anger man you can see he's kind of flaring out his head i don't want to stress him any more than that but yeah beautiful little snake that's going to do it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed kind of coming into the room next time we have a clutch hatch i plan to do more of kind of a live viewing of seeing what's actually going on but this time we've just been so busy preparing for the reptile expo make sure you come check it out august 22nd in toronto or technically mississauga but it's the toronto reptile expo so I want to thank you guys all very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. If you want to purchase a hognose snake, message myself or Brie on Instagram. Follow our new Instagram page at The Jungle Vault. I'll leave links and stuff down below for you guys to go check it out. That is our new website. It is currently being worked on. For those of you that made it to the end of the video, you get to know this. If you enjoyed the content and you want to see more hognose tank build, reptile goodness click that subscribe button if you enjoyed it click the like button as well that helps me out lets youtube know that you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff so i want to thank you guys all very much for watching we'll catch you in the next one later